I've been doing some experimentation with random number generation, or pseudo-random number generation more specifically, because of its numerous uses. And so I developed this machine. <laughs> uh, it may look like it's just a mess, and that's because it is just a mess. It's intentional. What I did is I put down t uh, timers, uh, clocks, each one of them with a an interval that is a prime number, and the output I made into an XOR, which is also just so happens to be an input, or act as an input, and I shifted all of them to the left, and this one shifts over back to here, and so it's super non-deterministic which is perfect for what I'm needing it for. And so over here you can see it in action, a sampling from it. I'm not sure it's a very good generator, but it's a good start, if nothing else. Over here, I actually have a tester to see if this bit right here favors being on or being off, which would eliminate its randomness, because then you could statistically deduce what it's more likely to be, which defeats the purpose of the random number generator. Ideally, you would not be able to determine uh, what is most likely for it to do, because it has a, a completely flat distribution of what's likely, and so any possibility is just as likely as the rest of them. Uh, but but uh, that's besides the point. I have this sampler here that samples whether it's off or on and feeds it into these incrementers and takes the integral of the on time and off time uh, with uh, a regular a sample rate. Uh, and it will show which uh, state that it favors, and of course you can run this test multiple times, and if it gives you a, a different answer each time, then it's a good chance that this is a good generator, and this is just the reset button. But actually to demonstrate, you see that time it had a really big streak of on time, but now it's off time is catching up too. Earlier, I ran two tests, and those two tests favored off time, and then one more test that favored on time. And so this actually looks to be a good generator. If you were to graph this out uh, in different formats, you could see exactly what's happening with all the statistics in mind. So that's the first sample. As you can see, the on time was slightly more than the off time this time. And now to start again. And now you can see it's happening again. Of course, this is only one thing you would want to test for for a generator. It doesn't matter if the on and off time is uh, equivalent if it's just an interval of being on and then being off regularly, you want it to be much more unpredictable. You can see this time it favored on time again, but this time it began with favoring off time. I actually want to get a one run where the off time is more Statistically, it's very likely that I'm going to find one soon if I keep going. Yeah, there you see, it's already doing that. And so you can see this is a bigger number now than that one.
I think this is actually one of the the most uh, uh what would you call it? Uh one of the most primitive pseudo random number generators you can make. And also one of the simplest. It's just a clocks you know, with uh non overlapping uh intervals that XOR into each other in a feedback loop. I think it might be fun to try to do some more experiments with this and maybe try to make a graphing machine or a function generator that uses this to take a closer look at how it works.